So here we go. This is the new layout. So if you click an ob, well, if you don't have to do that, you can just click whatever object. Uh, you'll have a, a list here. I know lights doesn't make sense, but this is a drop down enum. I'm going to upgrade this later. So just show all, all objects first. And so you'll be able to actively select whatever objects are in the scene through the icon gallery. If you have a bevel mod, it's going to show up right here. So a heavily bullioned mesh wouldn't be a good idea or a good candidate for a bevel unless you have a lot of controls and presets. And the shading is already set, hard normals, you've got arc instead of sharp, which allows you to have some very clean edges. This is pretty heavily uh, beveled, so we can bring the segments to two maybe. You actually probably bring it up just a touch. And let's see, what else do we want to do? We could put on clamp, you know, and I don't like using clamp override because I think you can just clean up your bevels and just get much smaller uh, bevels. And that doesn't look bad. Not too bad at all for what, what I've got here. That's pretty cool. And so already this add-on is now, it's probably something I should combine with Hard Service Toolbox to be honest, but that's kind of a, another task, another week. So, if you happen to have cube object, whatever, you want to add a geometry nodes bevel to this. Well, all you have to do now, and just real quick, just going top to bottom, you can jump into vert mode here now, edge select, face select, and then refresh is going to send you back to object mode. So, now if you click right here, you're going to have an actual bevel that's going to just pop up. I did some work in presets, and I meant to release this a while ago, but I didn't. And so now you'll get the bevel here, which is a procedural, procedural bevel that is all geometry nodes based. There's a little donkey monk down here. Uh, but I think the Z levels would control that to a good point. You could probably bring it up. If not, yeah, there we go. So the Z levels control that, and you'll have a modifier for it. Uh, but it's going to automatically just drop in. Now the shading is something on here that is a little tricky. It's an experimental feature. It's never been perfected. Uh, but if you play with the profiles... Uh, you can absolutely get some very nice shading and get a really, really nice bevel. Now, let's just say anything in here that goes into that collection. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Oh, I don't know. Let's grab a um, cylinder, and I'll throw that in. And now it's going to attempt, if you will, to bevel itself to that. And um, I just bring this bad boy up, put it about there, let's just delete the plane so it's not fighting it, because it's not really designed to go into like a million different other mesh objects. And this would be something you could use, like if you wanted to make pillars or something like that, I think that could actually end up looking kind of good. Yeah, there you go. I'll throw a couple of loops in there. Bevel this bad boys out. And extrude faces along normals just to make something neat. Yeah, there you go. So you can use the bevel magic for this as well. It is not just for grabbing objects and adding the 3ds bevel, which is pretty nice. Uh, you'll have the bevel presets. You can just hit that, and now you're going to get the edge with all the shading presets and everything. And then of course you can change it. You'll have uh, shading options here. You'll have the view regions, which is cool. You can kind of turn things on and off. You have a grab object, so whatever was the last selected object, you have an active button here, and then you understand segments and all that, no need. Let's see, and then of course you just come in here and make any object you want active and that's got the 3ds bevel on it as well so if you want to change something it'll all be here if you have it if you guys have any needs 
that you have not had necessarily met by the add-on, let me know. There are some heavy complexities to edge loops and offsets, and I'm actually working on an algorithm for that at the moment. And so I've got some pseudocode here mixed in with my script that's going to start reading edges and faces. Uh, absolutely no guarantee that this thing is uh, going to necessarily work as desired yet, but the idea behind this is to offset beveled edges and reset geometry around it, kind of like RDOPS does, but in a uh, light, lighter version because they've got a lot of people backing them and doing creation. So that is what it is. And there you go. That's it, guys. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't picked up the Devil Magic add on, you can go ahead and do that. It's on the Blender Market. There is a um, non pay version, as always. I like to keep that Blender stuff static so you can still have something decent. But for this upgraded model here to get this, uh, it is a pay, and you'll have a lot of features. Like I said, if you guys want something else, let me know. And the B-Box mod is in here as well. And so if you were to come in here and let's uh, show this real quick. Give me my modifier, please. There we go. Uh, there's a, this is not, this is a whole tutorial on its own. So I'm not going to be going over this. It's very self-explanatory and it's quite powerful uh, just for using actual bevels inside of, excuse me, bullions inside of geometry nodes. And if you pop this up, you can just go to main mesh objects, you know, select your um, Suzanne. You're going to get another Suzanne, if I can get it, and hide it. Uh, you'll have, let's hide this, there we go. So you'll have these empties where you'll be able to uh, create some bullions. It is Geometry nodes it is experimental as well, but this just pops in with a few different examples of things you can do. And feel free to go into my crazy geometry nodes group for that, if I can find it. There we go. And I've got a pretty crazy group here. I never got back to necessarily organizing this totally, but it'll give you some kind of an idea of the math and the logic behind what it takes to make wireframes like that. And there is a, uh, a curve on this for the edges that's part of the bullion, okay? And the fun part about that is that that's creating semi-bevel, if you will. And it was the only way I could achieve that kind of a bevel in here with the geometry nodes currently, other than the bevel mod, which is here and on the uh, other part of the add-on. So that's it, guys. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one.